Hi everyone, Sam from Manfus Makes here. Just thought I'd quickly hop on and do a Whip Wednesday. Um, so it's lovely and sunny here in Cornwall today. Um, I will be using the natural light because hopefully that will help you see my um, projects a bit better. Uh, so let's get on with it, shall we? So before I start with the whips, I am literally just going to recap on um, a natural finished object I've got. Um, a couple of videos ago, I explained to you that I was doing a cowl with the Twisted Fibre Friends. I hadn't finished it. I actually finished it last Friday because um, it needed to have been done by Sunday. But then they kindly gave us an extra week. Um, so they haven't actually been showcased. They will be showcased this coming Sunday um, on the Twisted Fibre Friends Live then. Um, but I thought I'd show you. Um, so I did the Crystal at Bag of Days drop stitch scarf. That's not what she calls it. Um, but I'll put a link down in the description box for you to be able to find that tutorial. Lovely, super easy, very clear instructions. Um, so if you like what you see, you want to make one of your own, then um, check that description out down below and I'm sure you'll have fun with it. Um, I did mention when I uh, showcased it in one of my whip videos that next time I wouldn't use such a busy yarn. Um, the stitches do get lost a little bit, uh, but I love it. I will wear it. Um, and here it is. So the light is making it a little washed out. Oops. The colours are very warm, very um, autumnal. I've got it folded in half at the moment because it is super long. It's about 72 inches long. It's about six inches wide. When Crystal makes hers, she makes them about eight inches wide. Uh, but I, I stopped at six inches because that felt like a nice width for me. I'll just quickly show you it on. And because it's nice and long, I can grab like that. And um, even with the two inches short on the actual scarf, as you can see, if it's particularly cold, I can put it up over my nose to keep me nice and toasty. And the ends do drape nicely down the front of me. So that is my F.O. Love it. Lovely yarn to work with. That was the Stylecraft Amour that I again showed you in one of my previous videos in the colourway Pebbles. So that's my F.O. Um, now on to my whips. So um, I think I'll just grab her a second. Again, in one of my previous videos, I introduced you to Deirdre, my little mannequin lady here. And she's wearing one of the hooded cowls that I've shown you before. She's just for display purposes. Um, Mike's nan, Mary. She won't be watching this, but she's a lovely lady. She she saw these and she gets quite cold outside. So she wanted to order a couple. So this is the one that Deirdre's wearing. Super easy to do, super effective, nice and warm. So there's Deirdre. And so I've got two on my hooks at the moment. She has ordered one in light grey. That's the progress I've made so far. That's obviously the cowl. Still got a way to go because this needs to be eight inches. So um, excuse my hands. I have very dry, sore hands from continual washing and being out in the cold. Um, so one in grey and one in a lovely mustard. Now this one, I'm a bit further ahead. I have got the eight inches for the cowl and I'll be starting the hood on this one. Um, I thought I'd switch it up because I had two to do rather than make them one by one in their entirety. I thought to give me motivation and to try and get me to finish quicker, I would do um, the cowl on one, the cowl on the second, the hood on one, the hood on the second and work between the two to hopefully get them finished at exactly the same time. And then Mike will drop them round to her uh, because she doesn't live very far away from where he works. 
um, and he will deliver those for me. So hopefully by Friday they'll be finished and I can do another FO video. Um, and the only other whip I've got at the moment is still the Watch McCall It blanket that I am doing with Kerry the Yarny Elephant um, as a cow. Um, I have big periods of time where I can't pick it up and work on it because I've got other bits and pieces, busy family, um, four children, two animals, a mic. It gets busy in this household. So um, I just pick it up as and when I can. The last time I showed you, um, I've actually put a stitch marker to show where I was last time. And I will just show you now. Yeah, the sunlight's getting in the way a little bit. So as you can see, where this stitch marker is was where I left off. So I have actually added one, two, three, four, five, six more rows. I'm now on the repeat. So the middle section, once you've done the middle section, you then go on to do a repeat. So I am halfway through the first repeat. I'm probably going to do about five or six repeats to make it a nice size blanket. But I think... The colours are coming out rather nice. Sorry about the sunlight, it's actually glaring in my face. Apologies. And again, I'm just alternating between the Hayfield Spirit, which is the rainbowy one, and the Hayfield Bonus Glitter in the white one. And the white is sparkly, but it never shows up properly on camera. But if you saw it in real life, you'd see how super sparkly it is. So, yep, I've got these. Oh, and going back to the hooded cowls for those at the moment I am actually using I a little while ago before I started YouTube I put in a big order with Hobby or Hobie however you pronounce it um, and I saw that they had some mega balls on offer now you've probably seen the mega balls again um, but actually they're super handy because I can get a whole hooded cowl out of a ball and still have a little bit left over not enough to make two but it's it's a nice bit of scrap to put in my scrap bin. So if ever I have any scrappy products, I'm going to have lots of lovely colours of scraps to use. So I'll just quickly go over the Mega Ball. So that's the label. Um, it's a 400 gram ball. Um, which is roughly 700 metres in it. Um, 600 and sorry, 765 yards. It's 100% acrylic. Now it's not the softest acrylic I've ever felt, but I thought seeing as it's gonna be a useful practical item um, and after a couple of washes, I'm sure it will soften down quite nicely. So yeah, 100% acrylic, uh, UK five or US nine knitting needle, which is 5.5 millimeter or crochet hook is a 5.5 to 6 mil, which is a US I to J 9 to 10. It is a four weight acrylic. You can wash it, you can iron it. Um, doesn't say anything about a tumble dryer, so I probably wouldn't put it in the tumble dryer. But then as you know, with my previous videos, I don't actually put the things that I make in machines. I would rather hand wash, lay flat to dry, and that way my hard work won't get ruined. Um, so yeah. I, that's, that's the Mega Ball. Mega Ball Aaron to us, or full weight to you guys. And like I said, super handy. I probably, well, I don't know if I'd order more again. I suppose if I was doing another hobby, Hobie order, I might throw a few in. They are super handy to have. And if you need quite a big quantity of a full weight or an Aaron, they are, you know, they fit the bill. A 400 gram ball, you can't really go wrong. Um, but like I said, it's not the softest acrylic I've worked with. I would prefer it a little bit softer. Um, so I may actually spend a little bit more money on getting some of the smaller, softer balls going forward. But seeing as I bought them, I needed to use them up. And like I said, after a wash, they'd probably soften up. So yeah, two hooded cowls, my watch and call it blanket, my finished bag a day scarf, um, so I'm just going to be concentrating on getting the cows finished this week uh, for Mike's Nan. Um, and then I am probably going to make a start on the bag a day cable pillow pattern that I discussed yesterday in my wool warehouse haul video. 
lots of super pretty yarns, still love them. I spent all afternoon yesterday rearranging my um, unit that I keep my yarn in, got it looking super pretty, super inspiring. And every time I walk past, I just want to grab it all, squish it all, work with it all. And actually speaking with Mike, um, I've asked if maybe it could be relocated into this room, not right behind me where you can see the door because it's quite a big unit, but over there where you can't see, I have um, a dresser unit which we're going to put where the wool is now and bring the wool in here and then I can sit in front of my yarn and make my backdrop a bit more crochet related but that won't be happening until the weekend. So you won't see that until next week's videos at the earliest, but I'm super excited and I get to organize it again. And seeing as I'm a little bit OCD, um, that will please me greatly because I love to organize and um, sort things out. So I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, uh, wherever you are. I hope you have a really lovely day. Um, I just want to thank everyone again for returning, watching me again. Anybody new? Hi, lovely to meet you. Um, please like the video if, if you like the content, leave a comment if you have something to say. Um, and don't forget to click the notification bell and set it to all because then you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Um, so yes, it's already gone 11 minutes on this video and I just wanted it to be a bit shorter today. So again, thank you for coming over. You're welcome anytime. And I hope to be doing a FO video Friday with the Hooded Cows to show you that they are indeed complete. And I might have even had time to start on the pillow that I want to do, but we will see. So take care guys. Love you all loads. Thanks again for coming round. Bye.